Good afternoon. This is Stuart Salak with Chicago Stock Trading here at the studios of Mr. Top Step. Danny is out for the week, so I'm going to try to do my best to fill in for him for the closing print today. We had another day uh, of a gap open higher. The S&P closed yesterday at 95. We opened at 98 today. Overnight, we saw the we saw the market take out yesterday's cash lows of 92.75 by 50 cents down to 92 quarter before recovering to open above that during today's cash open. By opening above the 92.75 level, that kept the pressure to the upside. And finally, we broke through 2000 today. We made highs of 2002.75, testing the upper, vol the upper intraday vol window, which was at 0350, and we retraced off of that once the European uh, markets closed. So off that retracement, we pulled back to the session lows. Into the close, we've ta uh, tapped those session lows at 1997, and the market was unable to breach below that. So going forward for tomorrow, the market remains, it remains in this uh, bullish momentum. The 92.75 level is a key level. If we open below 92.75 tomorrow, we could have a small island. Until then, the pressure is to the upside, a small resistance at 0150. And if the market is able to push through 0150 to 0275, we'll see the short side being squeezed again. Now, if we look at the daily chart, we can see the same thing that we were talking about in the last video where we had the V-shaped bottom where the market repeated the same pattern that it did in January and February where we broke the uh, six-month vol window at 1732, created a V-shaped bottom, came back to 1844, and expanded that range up to 1950 into the end of the first half. The second half, we see the same thing. Two weeks of sideways range. We broke the six-month vol window, which was at 1832, and we, uh, I'm sorry, 1932. We traded down to 1890 to retest major support based off of the May, break, May breakout. And from there, we've set up another V-shaped reversal. The bounce into 1960 was met with an initial rejection. Uh, this rejection came from news out of Ukraine and Russia, where it led to about a 30-point move down before seeing the market uh, open back above 1960 the following Monday. And since then, we've seen the continued squeeze through the highs. So. On Friday was the fourth day where we closed above the six-month reversal window of 1977. By doing so, the market's market has, has reversed its six-month re uh, bearish bias. It squeezed out the shorts by setting up this V-shaped bottom. Now, by squeezing out the shorts, it's up to new buyers to come in and stabilize the market at these prices to build support and try to build a base for another leg higher. So a couple of key uh, upside levels we're looking at right now is if we take last May's low, which was 1553, to last 2013 high of 1886, down to this year's low of 1732, we have our 100% Fibonacci extension at 2025. That's the major upside level we're looking at. If we do continue to hold the bid, we'll be looking at that level as major resistance. Maybe we can back away, pull back from that, and retest the six-month reversal window at 16, 1977 down to 1960, where old resistance turns into major support. Uh, sell stops will be below that 1937 level, leading into next major support at 1930, and the line in the sand is now that 1890 low. If we look at the 60-minute chart, we can see the cash market never traded down at 1890. The cash market took out 1900 by a tick, 1899.75. Ever since we broke through 1920, we've had seven gap openings higher. And these gap openings higher is happening in the overnight session with the European market. We're seeing euro weakness cause the global back session of the European market to bid the S&P. And that's where we're seeing the market uh, have these gaps higher. And these gaps higher allow the market to jump over the resistance level. So just as that 1960 level, we gapped above that, kept shorts below that trapped, giving way for that continued squeeze higher. So we can see on the 60 minute chart, we are still range bound uh, in that upward channel. The 1992.75 is a key level on the downside. That's yesterday's cash lows. If the market falls below that, you can see a retest of 81.50. Until then, the, we're looking at uh, upside of uh, 01.50 to retest today's highs, followed by major upside resistance at 2025. So we'll need to see uh, on the 60 minute chart, we'll see if we do see a break below 81, we're looking at major support down to 1960, which is that old resistance. On the daily chart, we just need to keep in mind this V-shaped bottom, which is the exact pattern that is set up in, in January, February. And we're seeing the first major resistance to the upside of 2025. From there, we could try to see a pullback and turn 
the reversal window of 1977 into support to try to continue to keep shorts below that trap. Now, one other thing, if we do take the range from uh, the current high of, uh, I believe, uh, 1980, down, 1980 down to 1890, if we take this V-shaped range and add that to the top, it gives us an upside target of about 2070. Just to keep that in mind, just like the first half of the year, we had 1846 down to 1732. We expanded that to the upside and we had 1955. So the same thing now, we need to keep that in mind, the 1980 to 1890 range, it can give a maximum upside target of uh, 2070. So until then, uh, we, it's still a very low volume grind and to, to, we do need to see some kind of capitulation if we do want to try to put in any major top, at least some strong volume coming in where shorts capitulate and longs get uh, kind of ecstatic on the highs. So until, ne until next time, have a good afternoon and I'll see you next time.